Hello, good day. This is Jerome Nabrida and today I will discuss about skateboarding and its history. This is a requirement in my course, Rep 205, Contemporary Issues in Sports and Physical Education in De La Salle University, Das Marinas. Skateboarding is an action sport originating in the United States that involves riding and performing tricks using a skateboard, as well as a recreational activity, an art form, an entertainment industry job, and a method of transportation. The Brief History of Skateboarding Skateboarding as it exists today was probably born sometime in the late 1940s or early 1950s when surfers in California wanted something to do when the waves were flat. This was called sidewalk surfing. A new wave of surfing on the sidewalk as the sport of surfing became highly popular. By the early 1950s, surfing can be traced as the source of skateboarding. Some surfers have the idea to transfer the feeling of riding waves onto the streets to defy times of days with a gentle swell. Not without any reason, these people were called asphalt surfers. In two spots in the world, a kind of skateboard was developed for the first time in the early 1950s in California and Hawaii. They used shorter surfboards and wheels made out of metal without same bearings. In the late 1950s, skateboarding had its peak. During the post-war period, the United States economy boomed, affecting the toy industry. During the time, the toy industry became aware of the board with wheels. Once the war ended, shiny new toys appeared back on the market. In 1953, a company called Roller Derby opened its factory in La Miranda, California. And in 1959, Roller Derby released the first official skateboard with some new technical developments. Thereby, the handling characteristics have been improved. For this reason, skateboarders were able to develop new tricks and maneuvers. In the 1960s, skateboards shifted from simple toys to versatile sporting equipment. In 1965, Life magazine described skateboarding as the most exhilarating and dangerous joyriding device that side of the hot rod, adding a two-foot piece of wood or plastic mounted on wheels, it yields to the skillful user the excitements of skiing or surfing. To the unskilled, it gives the effect of having stepped on a banana peel while dashing down the back strakes. It is also a menace to limb and even to life. Between the years 1959 and 1965, skateboarding became more and more popular in the United States. Particularly affected were the states on the East and West Coasts. Due to the industrial development, the skateboard status changed from toy to sport equipment. In 1962, the surf shop Val Surf in Hollywood sold the first self-produced skateboards. These boards featured a typical surfboard shape and roller skate trucks and were sold as complete boards. In the same year, the company Patterson Forbes developed the first industrially produced complete boards with more developed trucks. Frank Nasworthy's invention of urethane wheels in 1972 made it possible for skateboarding to come back. Nasworthy started the company Cadillac Wheels, and with the new material, it was possible to ride smoother, faster, and more comfortable. A variety of disciplines such as freestyle, downhill, and slalom experienced a real high point. New magazines like the Skateboarder magazine in, from 1975 were published and new events were launched. In 1976, the first artificially created skate, skate park was inaugurated and new parks emerged with new elements such as vertical ramps and kickers.
Following this, the publisher of the Surf Guide magazine, Larry Stevenson, released the first advertisement for skateboards in his magazine. Also, the clothing industry specialized more and more on skateboarding. One of the most famous skateboarding shoe brand named Vans was established in 1966. From this day on, Vans supported skateboarders from all over the world, especially shoe companies like Vans, Etnis, Converse, and DC Shoes developed and more, uh, more manufactured skateboarding related footwear and streetwear. In 1995, ESPN holds first X Games. X Games brought skateboarding and other extreme sports to a larger audience. Tony Hawk lands the first 900 in the 1999 X Games in San Francisco. Skate Parks and Video Games Skate Parks became popular additions to cities' recreational venues and also skateboarding themed video games rise in popularity. 2000 to present Skateboarding popularity has been maintained over the years. Professional skateboarders have sponsors and can earn hundreds of thousands of dollars in prize money. And in 2013, the Street League Skateboarding's premier event, the Sports Crowd, awarded its winner with $2,000, $200,000 cash, as well as additional prizes. Skateboarding attire brings in millions of dollars for companies like Diamond Co., Hurley, and Vans. Olympics welcomed skateboarding in 2022 Tokyo Games, and it featured men's and women's park and street events. 40 men and 40 women will compete. Not without controversy, World Skateboarding Federation and the International Skateboarding Federation both won oversight of Olympics. WSF alleges that ISF fails to drug test contestants and offer bribes to IOC. ICO announced that Tokyo 2020 Skateboarding Commission will oversee competition. It includes IFS and Federation of International Roller Sports members, but not WSF. The decision by the 129th IOC session in Rio de Janeiro was the most comprehensive evolution of the Olympic program in modern history. Plans call for staging the skateboarding and sport climbing events in temporary venues installed in urban settings marking a historic step in bringing the games to young people and reflecting the trend of urbanization of sports. The organizing committee for the Tokyo 2020 Games proposed the five new sports in response the, to the new flexibility provided by Olympic Agenda 2020. The IOC considered a variety of factors when assessing the proposal, including the impact on gender equality, the youth appeal of the sports, and the legacy value of adding them to the Tokyo Games. In the Tokyo Games, uh, skateboarding tricks observed or graded are as follows. Ollie, grabs, flip tricks, slides and grinds, and manuals. As mentioned, Skateboarding made its debut appearance at the 2020 Summer Olympics in 2021 in Tokyo, Japan. It, it has also been provisionally approved by the International Olympic Committee or IOC for inclusion at the 2024 Olympic Games in Paris. IOC's decision was very much influenced by Southeast Asian Games' decision to add skateboarding on their 2019 Southeast Asian Games and it was held in Tagaytay, Philippines from 3 to 8 of December 2019. This edition marks the first time that skateboarding was contested in the regional games. Famously, Filipina skateboarding champion Marjolin Didal took home her first gold medal in the 2019 Southeast Asian Games after ruling the women's game of skate on Thursday 
December 5 at Sigtuna Hall in Tagaytay, International Convention Center. Lidal displayed a flawless performance and Edge fellow Filipina skateboarder Christia Christiana Mings in the tricks competitions. Skateboarding does not skate away from controversies as skateboarding damages urban terrain features such as curbs, benches, and ledges when skateboarders perform grinds and other tricks on, this, on these surfaces. Private industry has responded to this problem by using skate deterrent devices such Other controversies include the enactment of ordinances and the posting of signs stating skateboarding is not allowed have also become common methods to discourage skateboarding in public areas in many cities to protect pedestrians and property. In the area of street skating, tickets and arrests by police for trespassing and vandalism are not uncommon. Common skateboard injuries include 74% of injuries occur in the upper limb 26% of injuries occur in the lower limb, most lower limb injuries occur in the ankles, 33% of skateboarding injuries happen to beginners with less than one week of experience. Beginners beware. Most severe accidents involve motor in vehicles and most severe injuries caused by head trauma. However, Skateboarding gives a lot of healthy benefits for the skateboarders. For the muscles used for skateboarding, core muscle groups, having a strong core is essential to having good balance and effective hip movement. The core provides the strength to stabilize the body and balance it when riding on uneven surfaces. For gluteus maximus or the butt, your gluteus maximus is a huge muscle in your body that extends from the hip to hamstrings. The gluteus are frequently used when transitioning from the crouch to upright position and when propelling forward on flat surfaces. The quadriceps or the upper leg muscle groups, your quads are heavily worked when performing movements that involve extending your knee like accelerating and ollies. For the calves, your calf muscles play a big role in shifting weight to the front or back of your body, which helps turn the skateboards in different direction. Distance skateboarding can keep you fit and provide you with the same health benefits you would expect from practicing any other endurance sports. But what makes it exceptional is Pushing a long board is one of the most natural and least stressful ways for your joints, back, and whole body to cover long distances. That concludes my report on skateboarding and its history, and I will leave you with a quote, the most certain way to succeed is always to try just one more time. Thank you and have a great day.